Hello and welcome to this week's video diary. The whole idea of a, of a video diary was to bring the Parliament to Inverclyde. This week the roles were reversed. First up were epilepsy campaigners who came to the Parliament during Epilepsy Week. We are also campaigning for, for, for additional resources to deal with this problem. There's 40,000 people in Scotland with epilepsy. Uh, are the services, are the services good in the market? Not really, but we have to be deal with them. Really. Can we, make them, can we make them better? We have to be deal with them and make them better. Good, that's a good point to end on, isn't it? A campaigner well known to you all, Neil McFadden, was in the Parliament this week, campaigning hard for pensioners' rights. I was resenting asking me about it, and I can tell you quite frankly, I was so upset and sick at the very end of that programme, I thought, my God, is that still happening? Age concerned and help the aged. And we're here tonight in the Scottish Parliament. Uh, we've just witnessed a, a viewing of the Panorama programme, the shopping programme, which shows the, the big, big concerns and the delivery of care of the community. You're pretty angry about this, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, uh, anyone who's watched the programme would be nearly angry to tears uh, because of the neglect that was displayed to all the people in, in, in that programme. And uh, we're really, really pleased that your committee has taken this up. Uh, we're really pleased that you've been able to take the lead on it and that the whole issue of regulation, um, pay conditions, uh, the whole sort of procurement processes that is going to be looked at because this is the kind of thing that's under the screen, you know, it's under, under the airways, so to speak. And so uh, bringing it out to the open has got to be a good thing. Okay, thanks, David. Okay. The young students from St. Columbus School also made a visit this week, but I was subjected to a friendly grilling. They wanted to know about the politician's job here in Edinburgh and in, and in the constituency. Uh, I really enjoyed their visit. Part of your job as an MSP is to take a fair share for your community. There's money, you know, there's money going in the Scottish Park. It's important that we in Inverclyde, with our issues and our ambitions, get fair shares of our money. So you've got a job of that to do. The job losses at TSC as a result of T-Mobile's moving jobs to the Philippines arrived at the Parliament this week. I met with T-Mobile who also met with the First Minister Alex Salmond. I am on record as expressing my extreme disappointment at the lack of action over the last three months in response to those local job losses. The Minister knows and I know, the workers at TSC know, TSC know that there was no call, despite my representations, despite representations from TSC, there was no call to TSC until the eve of the additional job losses in Falkirk. My concern, though, my concern, and for so, for so many of those workers, it is, is too late, they will lose their job, but my concern is that the situation is not simply a local difficulty, but the beginning of a trend, a trend which would impact significantly in my constituency where the contact centres at IBM, Royal Bank of Scotland and at IBM contribute to our economy and thousands of jobs. These are high skilled jobs that need multilingual skills, that need IT skills and that need financial advice skills. That is no small matter either for the Scottish economy where more than 60,000 people are employed within 300 contact centres offering 26 different languages. If Inverclyde and Scotland are to continue to benefit from these jobs, we need this government to proactively engage, engage at the time of crisis, but more importantly, engage before crisis 
uh, 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 is confirmed. We need the government to bring this industry together, understand the challenges that they face and work with them to ensure Scotland and Inverclyde remains a good place to do business.